Hey guys, it's Dave. Uh, it's Friday, so I'm doing a video. Um, this take this week I'm going to be talking about Dropbox. Um, you know how much I love these web applications. Uh, I've done videos about 280 Slides and Pixlr.com. This is a similar deal deal, but it offers a little bit of different functionality. So, what Dropbox does is it basically ha lets you have an online storage solution, so you don't never have to worry about carrying thumb drives or uh, burning things to CD or emailing yourself. Um, documents and stuff for work or class. You can just uh, upload it to Dropbox and it works really well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. First I'm going to go up here and show you um, up in the top right corner here. Hopefully you can see this. There's a little Dropbox icon here and that means that Dropbox is indeed running on my system. Uh, you install Dropbox just by going to getdropbox.com and uh, they have a little application that you can download and install. So if I click here, whoops, you can see I have some options. I can uh, open my Dropbox, do some account uh, stuff. Um, it shows how much of my um, space, my storage space I've used. So 6.2% of 2 gigs, some recent changes and so on. Uh, hit up the forums and whatever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do open my Dropbox. And as you can see over here, it opens up the Finder. And it basically looks just like any other folder on your, uh, on your desktop here. Um, so it doesn't open up in a, a proprietary application so if you're uh, not into that you can navigate Dropbox really easily. You'll see that these these folders have green check marks and what that means is that um, the folder has been fully synchronized both online so at getdropbox.com all, all the files are there as well as on your home machine so if I wanted to go in here and look around I could do that. Um, if I made any changes they would be instantly uh, synchronized up to getdropbox.com and you can also set up shared folders so if I for instance wanted to share this invoices folder with someone I could share that whenever I put a new invoice um, into the invoices folder it would automatically get shared to them without me having to do anything so I'm just going to show you how this works a little bit um, I think I have a pictures folder here let's see if I can find it probably photos <laughs> that makes the most sense and I have a uh, an image right here on my desktop I'll go ahead and show you what it is this morning I got an invite for resistance 2 the game for PlayStation 3 this is just a clip of it that I did a screen cap of because I wanted to show someone so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this uh, image into my photos folder here in Dropbox so if I go ahead and pull it over drop it in I'll go ahead and put it in right there. And as you can see up here now, I have this blue uh, little refresh sort of looking icon. What that means is that the file is currently being uploaded. And there you go. It just went back to the green check, check mark because it has been fully synchronized. So now if I go to the website, and I'll go ahead and pull it up. And I have my uh, Dropbox open right now if I refresh. First thing I see right here up at the top, and I'll scroll in is uh, some of my recent events and the photo that I just added has already been updated and they give you a little um, outline, a little timeline of the recent changes you've made. So if I wanted to go in and take a look at this picture I could just click on it and there we go I get a full version of the image. I'm pretty sure this works with documents and stuff too. Let me check that out real quick. So if I go into uh, this topics paper maybe it only lets you download them check out this PDF. Yeah, it looks like you can only download them. Um, I know that the uh, iPhone uh, uh, the iPhone version of the um, of getdropbox.com lets you preview images and stuff. Obviously, it's not a big deal because if you're at your um, your uh, desktop, like in your PC, your laptop or your uh, desktop computer, you can just check it out in the folder synchronization on your actual machine, but for the iPhone you can't synchronize so to be able to get at the files and actually look at them is pretty cool. So that's basically some basic functionality. Um, they do some cool stuff with things like images so if I go ahead and find my um, photos folder, let me see, probably the photos. Right here I have a, uh, a gallery from a bunch of Stalker Clear Sky um, images or screenshots that I took while I was playing Stalker Clear Sky. So what they do is they automatically um, figure out that this is a photos 
folder and they set up a gallery for you. So I can go ahead and click in here and take a look. Um, you can skip around, which is pretty cool. You can also share these galleries with someone. I could add a public link and share them with someone, um, which is pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about this so much compared to other photo sharing sites is that the preview is a little small. I wish you could blow this up a little bit. Obviously, when I'm playing the game, it's at a pretty high re resolution, like 1280 by 1024 or something like that, or the widescreen equivalent of that. So the images are a little small, but the fact that in a uh, image sharing and a uh, document sharing uh, application like this, that they allow that they automatically figure out that it's a, a photo gallery and then lets you share it from there is cool enough as it is. And then obviously you could download uh, these different um, images if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have used services like Dropbox before. Before I used Dropbox, I was using Live Mesh. And that was kind of before I switched over to the Mac for my main um, desktop machine when I was still running uh, Windows um, because Live Mesh is still uh, mostly just Windows. So right here, this is my Live Mesh uh, homepage. And as you can see, it has my computers. All of these are turned off right now, unfortunately, so I can't really show you much. It also has uh, the Live Desktop so I can connect and then look at some of my live folders and these are um, synchronized much like get Dropboxes are synchronized um, to the desktop but it's not as seamless I guess uh, they show up as blue folders so they're easy to di distinguish between normal folders which is either a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it and um, they don't it, it, the uh, live mesh isn't as uh, fully integrated into the Explorer or Finder uh, depending on which operating system you're in and in fact you can't even use this uh, from the Mac that's functionality that they're going to try to um, integrate down the road from what I've uh, read so and over here you have just like in Dropbox just some recently uh, added changes and so forth so if I go back to the devices folder or the devices link I should say Let's see if it's gonna be slow on me here okay so if I was on a Windows machine, I could do add device with uh, Live Mesh and then go ahead and add this. But as you can see, it says the Live Mesh extender is not currently supported on this device. Obviously, I'm on my iMac right now, and it says coming soon for mobile and Mac. It's said that for about six months now, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take them to actually integrate that uh, functionality. But maybe I'll switch back over if they ever do that. But for right now, Dropbox has really been everything I could ask for in the same sort of service. The only thing that uh, Live Mesh has that Dropbox doesn't is it lets you easily uh, remote desktop in between different um, machines. So if I wanted to, if this machine was online right now, I could connect and remote desktop without having to worry about having ports forwarded or anything like that. It just figures it all out for you as long as you have Live Mesh installed on the two machines. So that's one cool thing, but uh, overall I have to say that I'm a much bigger fan of Dropbox for right now. Uh, most of all because it actually works on the Mac unlike Live Mesh. So those are two different services. Um, I have to say both are free. Uh, obviously like I said Live Mesh is sort of a Windows only deal right now but um, if you have a Mac I definitely recommend Dropbox. In fact if you're on any platform Windows, Mac, or Linux you should definitely check out Dropbox. It's a great way to share files um, for work, for school, and so on. You never have to worry about as long as you have an internet connection you never have to worry about you know, having a thumb drive or burning stuff to a CD or emailing it to yourself or whatever. And you can access it from any web browser, so it's pretty cool. Um, and there's also, I think I mentioned there's share, sharing uh, features, so you can share folders and stuff, which is nice. It's probably the most useful uh, online tool that I've come across in a long time. So definitely check it out if you get a chance. It's at getdropbox.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.